Of all the projects I've done this year, one of the best ones that I'm most pleased with is this track system that I put around the perimeter of one of my fields that attaches to my two stall shed row barn. And it is designed to be able to open up one of the end paddocks uh, gates at a time to let one horse out. So today I'm letting Whiskey out because Junior went out yesterday. And why this uh, makes me so happy, um, keeping horses in the Pacific Northwest is really difficult and challenging, especially on your own small acreage. Um, and even with uh, having my horses in constant workout, um, there's really something to be said for them being able to go out and graze and kick up their heels a little bit and enjoy themselves. And one of the positive things with putting in this track system, sometimes called a paddock paradise, is it allows the horses to get some grazing but on a sacrificial section of your field. So I'm not letting him have access to the whole inside that's just for dry or summertime use and that grass will grow strong and it won't get so um, uh, pugged is what they call. Um, you can see the ground here. From their hoof prints, um, the weight of them on soft ground, it, it pugs up the area. So instead of him or any of the horses uh, doing that to the main portion of the fields, um, I've allowed, allowed a 12 foot um, track around the edge of the field so that they can ruin that. It's sacrificial instead of the entire field. And then one of the other things that I did just for this section here, he pegged me with, oh, <laughs> piece of mud went down my back. Anyway, uh, what I did in this section here right off of the fences is I laid down um, like five or six wheelbarrow loads of um, wood chips that I got for free. You can sign up on Chip Drop uh, and request for local arborists that are needing a place to dump their wood chips to offload. So it's not beautiful here because they <laughs> they mess this area up quite a bit but at least it's not actual. You can see his hoofs here. He's not sinking in any mud and that's thanks to being able to put some of that wood chip down. And I suspect that I'm gonna have to add some more but um, but this is a great eco-friendly solution um, that doesn't cost anything. Uh, it'd be great to be able to put down some gravel or something here, more permanent, but um, but obviously that's not what I was able to do this year. So just a little bit more about this track. Um, some people call it horse tracks. Some people call it paddock paradise. Um, you can do a configuration, sky's the limit. It just kind of depends on what your setup looks like. And mine is really simple. It's just the perimeter of the field. Um, and then you can see he has to go underneath a couple of apple trees to get around the edge of it. Um, and then there's some branches along that side. Hi, Whiskey. Hi, buddy. Um, on that end to navigate. And so one of the um, principles behind the paddock paradise is, here, you might as well look at Wiz because he's much more pretty to look at. Um, one of the principles with the paddock paradise is to allow the horses to have movement and enrichment and so small obstacles like trees or logs or change of footing that's all things that people can get really creative about doing. Some people put in sand pits so they have a soft place to lay down. Some people make really narrow sections. Um, and the whole idea is to get them to move. So uh, the bigger the, the track space, the less likely it is for them to continue walking past. Um, hey, don't do that. So uh, in my case, I, I tried to stay with 12 feet all the way around with some soft corners because I didn't want them to get, like say this section was only eight feet wide and he wanted to turn around and come back. I didn't want him feeling trapped. So 12 feet wide was plenty to be able to feel like the horses can quit chewing my stuff. Um, that they can safely and comfortably get around it. Um, and then also I can get my tractor in here pretty easily. So that's, uh, there. you can watch a lot of other videos about the, um, 
the thought process behind the paddock paradises. But um, like I said in the opening um, film, opening section of video here, this I believe is one of the best things that I've done for my horses this year. And that's really saying something considering I did quite an investment by putting in the eco grid, um, which I think obviously is good for them and their well-being and their health. Um, but uh, being able to get some movement, I think, is really, really also beneficial. It just really makes me happy to be able to turn my horse out for the rest of the afternoon. And he gets to decide where he wants to go and he gets to trim down um, grass like he is here. And often mine don't really leave each other. Um, lately, in, with it being wetter and stuff, they haven't really left this section. I've seen Junior go around to that side before and I've had to bring him in from there. Um, so for the most part, they end up staying close by to each other. But even, even if they're only using this 50 foot run, it still is more than what they'd be getting for enrichment and movement just stuck in their 26 foot paddocks. So just wanted to share that. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any other questions about tracks, horse tracks or uh, paddock paradise, you can do uh, Google searches on that. I know I've seen some videos of examples of other people's um, tracks here on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot that you can look up. And like I said, the sky's the limit for your particular um, facility and what you can get out of it. Um, but this is just a quick, this is my first year trying to implement a track here um, on my Washington farm. Um, and again, I'm only on four and a half acres with uh, just three fields. So uh, that's how I'm utilizing it for now. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.